I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to speak to everybody who has sex in the dream. Sex in the dream. The meaning of sex in the dream is this. It is the last of your heart. Every time you look at a woman, every time you look at a man, and you lust over that person, to last to the extent that you imagine having sex with that person, or your heart lasts over that person extremely, to want them sexually, intimately, this is the meaning of the sex in the dream. Demons look into your heart and they see your heart is full of adulteries. Then they search and see the faces that you lust over and they come wearing those faces, those bodies. Then they sleep with you. This is spiritual adultery and you sleep in the dream and you have children spiritually with these demons the lord jesus said if you look at a woman to last over here you have committed adultery instantly at that very point in time in your heart so many people are going about saying we are dreaming having sex with so many people it's not demons it's you the moment you read your heart over adulteries the moment you read your heart of lusts the moment you stop to lust over women and men with your flesh, your heart, your eyes, the moment that is the key to having demons not coming to sleep with you in the night. Many people, again, dream sleeping with other people, but they are being used. This is an act of witchcraft where demons are assigned as husbands unto you the fact that they use they use these demons they are appeasing them so that they generate or accumulate wealth with your semen they accumulate wealth with your semen this is for men if it's women they are stealing your your children they are making you barren or they are affecting your marriage they are affecting your career your 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 everything about your life is being affected and you find your life goes up goes down goes up goes down it is because of sex in the dream you hold money here and there it's like grab and go grab and go grab and go you get money but you cannot build anything it is because of sleeping with the demons some people as i'm saying they assign demons to appease them as the rituals they assign you as a wife to a demon in zimbabwe we all we call it tokoloshi or chikwambo if you are in zimbabwe if you're watching me for or listening to me from zimbabwe these are chikwambo demons assigned by someone and you are used as a ritual so that they accumulate wealth. So every time this demon, this Chikwambo has sex with you in the dream, the more money these people have. Many people are making money by, by doing these rituals, spiritual marital rituals, where you, they assign male demons or female demons, or they assign male mermaids or female mermaids to sleep with you, and they bind you in a tie or they tie you in marriage, in a spiritual demonic marriage where you begin to, to have sex with these mermaids or demons so that they make money. So every time you find yourself dreaming having sex, number one, it is because of lust of your heart, your eyes over a body of a person. There are many adulteries in your spirit. And as you are hearing this gospel, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that you are decoded and your mind is renewed from lasting over the flesh and from walking after the flesh to walking after the spirit. If God will by his spirit in Christ Jesus. So I speak the name of Jesus that you may be set free from adulteries in your heart. And if it is a demon, a chikwambo, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that, that there is a divorce right now. There is that spiritual divorce. There is that spiritual divorce. You stop being an outer. You stop being an outer of demons. You stop being an outer which is used for someone to get rich through using you by sex with demons, with mammoths, 
powers of the waters and with serpents. I free you in the name of Jesus. May the Father free you by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. May you be free. I command that demon, that witch, to let go of your life. Every ritual done, may it be nullified. May it be destroyed by the fire of God, by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free, be free, be free, be free. Wherever you are watching me from, you shall not have sex in the dream. I disconnect you from that demon. I disconnect you from that squambo. I disconnect you from that mammoth spirit. I disconnect you from that serpent. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. May your life be free. May your life begin to have meaning and a purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall get the job. You shall get married. Some people are here. You are not married because of this sex in the dream some of you are going to extend of even masturbating even when you're masturbating you could be used by someone who is making money with you if you're masturbating or these are lust in your heart that manifests now through masturbation so when you're masturbating these are also adulteries of your heart the lust of your heart where you lust over women and men this is what causes you to begin to masturbate and even some of you i'm hearing that many people are married but they are still masturbating it is because through those demons you will not find satisfaction in men but you begin to use many apparatus sex toys bananas cucumbers so many things your fingers to just find a pleasure but these are demons that are speaking are using you sorry these are demons that are sleeping with you so every time your money you are masturbating and using sex toys or any fruit or whatever or your fingers these are demons sleeping with you this is a spiritual intercourse with the demons with mermaids and with snakes so i pray by the power and authority in the name of jesus that you may be free from masturbation you may be free from using sex toys sex toys are demonic they are of the kingdom of darkness every time you use a sex toy you are having spiritual intercourse with the demons with the powers of darkness in the book of genesis demons angels came down to have sex with women and to have children and i said Matthew 5 28 the lord jesus said if you look at someone to last over them already at that very moment you will have committed adultery and no adulterer shall inherit the kingdom of god the moment you are fornicating and committing spiritual adultery with the demons with the powers of darkness fallen angels principalities thrones dominions of the kingdom of darkness you are having spiritual children you are having children in the kingdom of darkness spiritual with these demons that is why your life is not going anywhere but i pray today as an apostle of the Lord Jesus, by the will of God the Father, I pray the fire of God upon your life. The fire of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free from using sex toys. Be free from masturbation. Be free from sex in the dream. Be free from every satanic altar and ritual done upon your life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray may you testify. I declare and decree you shall testify. You shall testify. You shall testify. You shall testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free, be free, be free. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I speak the power and authority in the name of Jesus. May it zap you like lightning. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, be free. I command every demon to let go. I command every demonic power, authority to let go. Every demon that is tied to you, every spiritual marriage covenant done with that woman, that man, I command you to separate, to separate right now. A body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. A body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. His body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is not a temple of demons. It is not a temple you should fornicate with or destroy. You cannot defile these people's bodies. I command these demons, wherever they are, let go. Come out of their lives. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free right now. Be free right now. You shall be married. I hear the word that you shall be married. You shall marry. You shall be married. You shall marry. You shall have children. You shall be successful. You shall get the job. You shall have a purpose and a meaning to your life. I speak order and a meaning to your life. You shall get job. You shall get jobs. I'm hearing of someone getting a job as a doctor, as a nurse, working in the medical sector. You shall work. You shall be employed. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, you are free.